Now amid the row with the state government over the control of universities, West Bengal Governor C.V. Ananda Bose has announced the appointment of interim vice-chancellors of six universities. West Bengal Education Minister Bratia Basu has said that the governor cannot appoint new interim vice-chancellors as the matter is still pending in the court. The TMC government has been accusing the governor, who also serves as the chancellor of state-run universities, of seeking to undermine the state's education system by making arbitrary appointments. Listen in. Uh, our chancellor can do it when the entire matter is subsidies into our the higher authority, rather higher higher court, the Supreme Court of India. So. We must uh, create attention uh, to Honorable Supreme Court that our Chancellor is doing such and such thing. Can he do it? Or is this legal? We must put it in the, in the, in the eyes of Honorable Supreme Court. We're crossing over to CNN News 18's Kamalika Singh Gupta to get us more on this. Uh, Kamalika, so then the fact that he's now appointed vice chancellors, interim vice chancellors of six universities, the fact that the West Bengal Education Minister said that this cannot be done as the matter is pending in the court, what will this mean for those vice chancellors? Well, that's a very big question because uh, till now we have not got any reaction from the Raj Bhavan side. But the matter is in court, in Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court has stated that to form a, the Supreme Court. Uh, will form a search committee and that uh, search committee's uh, proposal, name names proposal, uh, the Supreme Court has asked from all the sides, that means the state government, the Rajapal, uh, both the sides. But they have given their, um, uh, some of them have given their um, proposals also, but in spite of that, what uh, led the Rajapal, uh, the governor, to appoint um, uh, VCs, that's still a big question. And there where the Trinamool Congress is raising voice, the education system himself has said that they will be taking this matter to the court. So what happens, it will be seen. But really what the future of these VCs are, that's a very big question. And there is a confusion in the education, entire education system. Would you also be able to, for our viewers, give a little history on what the row exactly is? See, actually when the governor was appointed, is the Chancellor of the University. Uh, he uh, uh, started appointing certain some VCs. Now the point of Rajbhavan was various VCs that were coming in the search committee that was given by the state government. They were corrupted. They had uh, there were complaints against them. So uh, citing that governor started appointing VCs. Now state government was of the opinion that state government was not kept in a loop, and they were not even aware that who are the VCs who have been appointed. And the state government's point was that the VCs who have been appointed, they don't qualify as VCs because some of them does not have 10 years of experience in, uh, as a professor and all those things. They went to the court and the matter went to the Supreme Court and Supreme Court stated that search committee will be formed by the Supreme Court. There will be no interim VC system. Uh, uh, so after that, the proposals went. But in spite of that, uh, on, on what legal grounds, the governor has appointed the VC, that's still not clear. All right, Kamalika, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us all of those important details. We'll continue to return to you because, as we mentioned, there is a big question here. What is now going to happen with those uh, six interim vice chancellors?